Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be going through Venus in the houses. So very excited to be getting into this video. Venus does represent relationships, but it also can represent ways that you can make money, how you can bring through abundance because Venus is all about the luxuries in life as well. It's also all about beauty, beautifying things, making things look better. That's really that Venusian vibe. It's ruled by Libra and it's ruled by Taurus. Libra being beauty and same with Taurus. Taurus is all about indulgences in life. So when we look at the house that we have our Venus in, it can give us a little bit more insight as to how we can beautify our life. Yes, it can give us more information about our relationships as well, and it can give us information about how we can make money. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting with Venus in the first house, if you have Venus in the first house, you yourself are probably going to be very, very attractive. People might find themselves attracted to you. They might not even know why. It doesn't necessarily have to be just the physical appearance, although most likely it will be. It can also be your mannerisms, the way you say things. There's almost like an elegance to this energy where it's like there's just something about you where people just want to watch you. Also, when you do have Venus in that first house, it does give you the undertone of having a Libra rising. So what does this mean? In terms of your personality, you might be even tempered, very friendly. You might have a lot of friends. Now, another thing that I've observed with Venus in the first house, what tends to happen is sometimes this placement can be selfish when it comes to romance and partners. They can be all about the self. They can have a hard time compromising. When it comes to relationships, they can be very much about their goals and trying to get to where they're trying to get to. It's that first house energy. It's like, I want to be the best. Doesn't mean it's going to be this way forever though. Keep in mind, we do go through secondary progressions approximately every 25 years with the Venus placement. So it really does depend on your degree. You guys can always check those out to see where your Venus placement is currently at. So a few ways you can make money when you do have Venus in that first house could be through the self. It could be through the physical appearance. Depending on the rest of the natal chart, sometimes this can be a fame placement, basically fame for the physical appearance, being known for how you look. Although it doesn't have to be just appearance, it could be you doing physical things. It could be dance because Venus does represent the arts as well. It can be things like dance and movements, just again, anything graceful, almost like a ballerina vibe. Is actually what I'm picking up on, but it really does depend on the rest of your natal chart. It can even be like a street artist, something of the sort again where people are watching you you are performing something so these are a few things that can take place when you have venus in the first house if you have venus in the second house the second house does deal with personal finances personal values it is that taurus energy this is known to be a placement for money when you do have venus in that second house as long as you are making money you will make more money that taurus energy that second house energy is very good at finding ways to make money especially when you have venus in that second house you guys might be extremely resourceful you guys might always find ways to make money if you have this placement really, really figuring out different ways to make money. Financial literacy is really what it is. And it's the name of the game for you guys, because it's like, as long as you guys are making money, you're going to make more money when you have Venus in that second house. Now, the second house does also deal with material things and items and luxury overall. So when you do have this placement, you might be interested in purchasing luxurious things. Anytime you are interacting with this energy, you will get more of it. Another thing that can take place if you do have Venus in the second house, the second house is ruled by Taurus and Taurus does rule the neck area and the vocal cords. So you guys can be very, very good at singing. You guys might just have a very nice voice very alluring, attractive voice because Venus does beautify the area that it is in. So you might be interested in singing or doing something of the sort where you are speaking, maybe even ASMR or meditations. It really depends on the rest of your natal charts. But these are a few things that can take place when you have Venus in the second house. If you have Venus in the third house, the third house deals with siblings, communication, written or spoken words. It can also deal with travel, but more so locally. So when you have Venus in that third house, you could be interested in the written or spoken word. You can bring through money this way. Obviously it depends what sign you have in there and it depends on the rest of your natal chart, but you guys might be interested more so in short form writing. It can be things like poetry. Let's say you have Pisces in there, or you guys could just be interested in writing slogans for companies, anything that's short form that grasps the attention. The third house is always very good at taking a large idea and putting it into a sentence. So that's Venus in the third house. It's also going to need to speak. You guys might have an eloquent way of speaking and saying things and it might be very much alluring. It could be very charming. It could be, again, attractive. That's that Venus energy, it attracts. So when you have it in the third house, these could be some ways that you do bring through abundance because the third house does deal with siblings as well. You guys can make money with your siblings. You guys could be interested in having a business with your siblings or something of the sort where you guys are working together. Or maybe you guys just get inspired by your siblings and you know that inspires you to start a blog 
on that topic. You guys could be interested in doing things like vlogs for the town that you guys are in, moving around, checking out different restaurants, for example, or different activities to do, writing a blog. Again, short form content where you guys are writing something or maybe even recording videos, basically getting the message out there like, hey, this is a great place in town. This tastes delicious. This is a great restaurant, X, Y, Z. It can go in so many different ways. In terms of relationships, when you do have Venus in that third house, because the third house does deal with the mind, you guys are going to need an intellectual connection of some sort with your partners and it's going to have to be someone who is able to intellectually stimulate you. It might have to be someone who's different or very interesting, have a lot of different stories. You guys could even be interested in dating around when you do have this placement before you guys do actually settle down. So these are a few things that can take place if you have Venus in the third house. If you have Venus in the fourth house, very interesting placement to have because it's going to be conjuncting your IC, which deals with the home. The fourth house deals with all things to do with the home. It deals with the mother. If it's not the mother, it's going to be the dominant feminine role in your life. Also, the fourth house can deal with real estate. It can deal with your own home. So when you do have Venus in that fourth house, you guys might be interested in working with real estate, maybe owning several properties, or just making your own homes look beautiful or just working with homes in general, maybe having them on display or doing things like staging for like selling homes. Also, when you have Venus in the fourth house, because it is conjuncting that IC, you guys are going to basically have to explore certain things that maybe took place in the home that could be holding you back from these sorts of things or maybe holding you back from indulging and enjoying because the fourth house does deal with the mother. It could be more so connected to the mother. If it wasn't the mother and the roles were maybe reversed, it could be maybe whoever took on that dominant feminine role, but you guys might have to go through an exploration of the home because keep in mind the IC is opposing your 10th house. The Venus energy is also going to be opposing your 10th house. What does this mean? Maybe you guys won't be able to enjoy or indulge because it is in that oppositional energy and if you guys are having struggles with this and maybe it is affecting your career, go back and look at the IC. That's always my recommendation for fourth house energy. In a natal chart, the sign in there is going to tell you a lot about what kind of home you had, what kind of upbringing you had, and maybe what kind of belief systems you guys took on that might be holding you back from where you guys are trying to get to. So these are a few things that can take place if you have Venus in the fourth house. Venus in the fifth house, very beautiful placement to have, especially if you guys are interested in creative ventures, acting, being theatrical, the creativity overall. It can be the inner child. It can be working with children as well. It could be teaching. It can also sometimes be entrepreneurship. I do find that fifth house energy does tend to have an interest in entrepreneurship because of the fact that they get to be creative. So the thing is for you guys here, anytime you guys are engaging in creativity, creative ventures, acting like I mentioned, being silly, being goofy, being funny, you guys are going to be bringing through abundance for yourselves because Venus does tend to deal with the indulgences in life. Now, because the fifth house does deal with children as well, this could signify that you guys have very beautiful children when you have Venus in the fifth house. But overall, the energy here is that you guys are going to need some sort of variety in your life. You're going to need things to be switching and changing and doing different things to basically bring through that abundance, to have those indulgences, maybe even luxurious experiences that you guys are seeking. So these are a few things that can take place when you have Venus in the fifth house. If you have Venus in the sixth house, very interesting placement to have. The sixth house does deal with health, healing, being of service. It deals with the day-to-day, -day, your day-to-day -day people, and it can also deal with pets. So when you have Venus in the sixth house, because Venus does deal with beautifying things, you guys could be interested in working, let's say, in an industry where you guys are beautifying things. For example, maybe you guys might be interested in being a plastic surgeon. It really does depend on the rest of your natal chart to see how this could manifest. But again, the sixth house energy does see flaws in areas where maybe other people don't see them. So for example, maybe you guys could even be like a seamstress or working with embroidery, things like this, where there is an attention to detail and you guys are beautifying that thing while you guys are doing it. It could be in the beauty industry. It could be selling products of any sort to basically enhance things for people now because Venus does deal with indulgences and money as well. You guys could be interested in maybe even being a veterinarian when you have this placement where you guys are working with animals and you're working with pets. This energy does deal with the day-to-day -day. because it does deal with money. You guys can make money this way as well through the day-to-day, day-to-day activities. So it could be things like being a coach for a soccer team or something of the sort where it's like very much the day-to-day. -day. Now another thing also because this placement does deal with health, healing, being of service, and anything to do with like the health industry, the healing industry, really depends on the rest of your natal chart, whether it's going to be more so conventional healing or unconventional healing, but any industry really where you guys get to be of service, helping people, healing people, you guys can make money this way as well. So these are a few things that can take place if you have Venus in the sixth house. If you have Venus in the seventh house, this is that Libra energy. So you kind of have double other energy going on. A few things that you can do to make money if you do have this placement is anything that is Libra-like. You guys could be interested in the beauty industry. You guys could be interested in fashion. You guys could even be interested in business. Having that seventh house energy in there is going to make you guys very, very good at negotiations, business deals, 
having a business mind, making you very much even tempered. Because Venus can also deal with your friends and the seventh house is also to do with groups of people, all interpersonal relationships. It can be your friends, your lovers, your business partners. All these people that you guys attract into your life could be very attractive. You guys could have a very attractive friend group or even a very attractive partner. But they do say with this particular placement, when you do have Venus in the seventh house, there could be feelings of jealousy here because they are going to get a lot of attention from other people as well. So just something to keep in mind if you do have this placement. You guys could be very excited to have this partner in your life, but let's see, you got Scorpionic energy going on in there. And there's like jealousy vibes happening, although it's going to be very hidden if it is Scorpionic energy in there. Just, I guess, something to have in your awareness when you do have that Venus in the seventh house. This does deal with indulgences as well. So anytime you are engaging with beautifying something or even the legal system, actually, Actually, it can also be the legal system as well, justice, all these sorts of things. You guys are going to bring through even more abundance for yourselves. So these are a few things that can take place if you have Venus in the seventh house. If you have Venus in the eighth house, what are a few things that can take place if you have this placement? So the eighth house deals with other people's resources, joint finances, taxes, debt, anything to do with other people's money. It also can deal with the occult astrology. It can deal with sex, death, rebirth, all of these things, even the taboo topics in society. So when it comes to abundance and bringing money towards you guys, anytime you guys engage in the eighth house like activities you guys can bring through abundance for yourselves for example maybe teaching astrology maybe some of you might be into mediumship the metaphysical world maybe some of you guys could be interested in the occult or you guys could be interested in let's say being a sex therapist or anything to do with psychology even when you have venus in that eighth house because the sign of venus does deal with indulgences the eighth house is also going to be very interested in having luxuries in life i'm going to say for this placement that as long as you guys are interested in making money you guys will make more of it but something really really important to watch out for when you have venus in the eighth house is not to fall into the energy of looking for fast money pyramid schemes being careful when it comes to other people's money as well like debts and all these sorts of things the eighth house scorpionic energy does deal with the lower levels of society so anytime we have anything to do with fast money it's scorpio in the shadow so just watching out for these sorts of things even gambling because that eighth house energy knows that they can manipulate the energy of money and try to get fast money and all these sorts of things obviously it depends on the rest of your natal chart but because it does deal with other people's resources when you have venus in the eighth house this could be money through a spouse as well because you guys are constantly going to be working with other people's money you guys could also be interested in being something like a financial advisor when you have venus in the eighth house keep in mind Anytime you engage in these eighth house like activities, it's on a range, really. Some people could even be a mortician, you know, or even doing makeup for people who have crossed over because you are beautifying this area. So anytime you engage in this, you'll bring more abundance towards you. So these are a few things that can take place when you have Venus in the eighth house. Venus in the ninth house. What does the ninth house deal with? All things to do with the higher mind, philosophies, belief systems. It can also deal with long distance travel. Venus in the ninth house for you guys, you could be interested in, let's say, having like a travel blog something of the sort you guys can bring through abundance in this way because Venus can deal with indulgences in life. When you're interacting with ninth house life activities, you guys can bring through abundance. Some of you might be interested in pursuing higher education, academia. This could also bring through abundance. Also, it can be things like getting a bunch of different certifications. This can also bring through abundance. The thing is when you have that ninth house energy in there, there's going to have to be versatility. You guys might find yourself switching a lot of the time. You know, you master one thing, you teach it for a while, because that's the thing with that ninth house energy. They master something, then they teach it. It is also a very intellectual placement. The ninth house, it is a Sagittarius energy. They might be constantly looking to learn more things and new things and then teaching those things as well. Another thing that's coming through to tell you guys is you guys might be very into adrenaline type things. So things like bungee jumping or just like having that type of lifestyle or even extreme sports is actually what i'm also picking up on because that sagittarius energy is very athletic as well the ninth house sag energy so these could be a few ways that you guys do bring through abundance you guys could be interested in learning different languages and then making money this way as well or just teaching different languages being an interpreter i mean honestly the world is your oyster just keep in mind it's ninth house like activities and venus is that planet of indulgence so when you indulge in these activities you guys can make more money and bring more abundance towards you guys now another thing that can take place in terms of relationships and friendships because venus does deal with this as well you guys could have friends abroad you guys could have lovers abroad when you have venus in the ninth house you guys could have a lot of connections abroad or when you guys travel you guys make a lot of friends or maybe you live in a certain country for a period of time and you have connections there things like this so these are a few things that can take place if you have venus in the ninth house if you have venus in the tenth house this is an amazing placement to have it's conjuncting your midheaven now depending on the rest of your natal chart sometimes this can also be a fame placement because the mid 
Void Heaven does deal with your public image, your career. Now you have Venus in the 10th house, which deals with beautifying things, your connections, your friends, your lovers. It also deals with indulgences in life. So anytime you guys engage in 10th house like activities, you guys can bring through more money and you guys can bring through abundance. So first of all, you guys are going to find yourselves probably wanting to work with the public in one way, shape or form. The sign in here is going to definitely give you a little bit more insight as to what that area might be. It's going to obviously be on a huge range, but when you have Venus in a 10th house, you're going to have to be working with the public in one way, shape or form and climbing that social ladder. That's the whole name of the game with the Capricorn 10th house energy. It's all about climbing the social ladder, basically elevating your financial status, elevating your social status. It's a good placement for money is really what that is, but what's going to give you even more insight as to how you can go about this, you're definitely going to have to double check the sign in there. Now, whenever I look at the 10th house, especially in people's natal charts, I always go and look at the fourth house to see what took place in the home, the IC, okay, the fourth house IC is going to give you more information as to what may have taken place in the home. And because it is an oppositional energy, if you guys find yourselves maybe not getting to where you're trying to get to and trying to get to your goals and something's not going in the way that it should be, check out what's going on in the IC, the fourth house. This is going to give you guys a little bit more insight as to maybe what kind of home you had when you were growing up, maybe what kind of childhood you had and what kind of belief systems could have been ingrained in you that maybe are holding you back from achieving those goals that you guys are trying to achieve. Now, another thing also that's coming through dimension is when you have Venus in that 10th house, your partner could be someone who is also at an elevated status. Overall, this energy really, really deals with luxury and the higher status in life. So these are a few things that can take place if you have Venus in the 10th house. If you have Venus in the 11th house, what does the 11th house mean? The 11th house is large groups of people connecting people for a higher purpose of some sort. The 11th house is also humanitarian issues, activism. It can also be ideas, futuristic thinking. It can also deal with the internet, technologies, technological advances, all these wonderful things. When you have Venus in here, a few things can take place. First of all, you guys can make money through these areas because Venus does deal with indulgences. So you guys can make money through the internet. You guys can make money from technology, working in tech. You guys can make money from your ideas, sharing your ideas, collecting people together. That's very much that Venusian in the 11th house energy. Now, alternatively, when I do see this placement, sometimes this can also signify that you might meet your partner online when you have Venus in the 11th house. It can also be through groups of people. It can also be through large networking events. That's really what the 11th house is all about. They also do say that for this particular placement, it is a wealth placement as well. So these are a few things that can take place if you do have Venus in the 11th house. Venus in the 12th house. Very, very interesting placement to have. The 12th house deals with foreign lands, past life enemies. It also deals with past life karma. It can deal with your subconscious. It can deal with things like fears and it's all to do with the subconscious is really that 12th house. Now, what I also will say for this particular energy is it also deals with the metaphysical planes and things that you can't necessarily see. When you have Venus in the 12th house, you guys might be very interested in the romance of life. Now, it really depends on the rest of your natal chart, but you guys could be very interested in writing romance things, right? Romance novels, screenwriting, poetry even. It really, really depends on the rest of your natal chart, but it's a very beautiful energy in terms of your creativity. You're taking creative ideas, you're anchoring them into this birth plane. Now for the 12th house Venus, what might take place as well is the 12th house does deal with your past life enemies, so they could come through as lovers in this lifetime or even your friends, because the Venus placement not only deals with your relationships, but it can also deal with your friendships as well. So there could be a lot of karma to clear when you do have Venus in that 12th house. Karma to clear in terms of your friends, in terms of your partners. Doesn't mean you guys are doomed in love. I know sometimes people say that for the Venus in 12th house placement. It doesn't necessarily mean this. It's just, it's a lot of karmic clearance. Now, another thing to say for this placement is personally, anytime I do see 12th house placements in a natal chart, to me, that signifies a few things. One thing, you are basically closing out a cycle for that particular planet in this lifetime. So what is Venus all about? What does it mean? It's all to do with friends, love, relationships. It's all to do with even your money and your indulgences. So there are things that have taken place in a past life that are being closed out in this lifetime. Maybe you didn't get to achieve a certain financial goal you wanted to in a past life. Now in this lifetime, you're coming through to achieve that. Once again, past life lovers, there's karma to clear. Now, another thing that can take place with this placement as well is you guys could have a karmic inheritance. So it could be something that you guys inherited in a past life. Maybe you guys weren't able to receive that for whatever reason in that lifetime. And now you're inheriting it in this lifetime as well. When I say karmic inheritance, I'm talking more so about financial matters. So it could be things like large sums of money. It could be things like a property, things of this sort. When you do have Venus in that 12th house, it's being passed over to you in this lifetime because of, for whatever reason, you weren't able to have it in the past life. 
Also having 12th house energy in your natal chart a lot of the time is something that you guys could have mastered in a past life. So kind of bouncing off of the idea of the karmic inheritance it was mastered in a past life. You're just receiving it in this lifetime because you don't have to relearn that lesson. But for example, it could also be something like a relationship. You know, maybe you weren't able to have a relationship in a past life for whatever reason. Now that person incarnates into this lifetime with you for you guys to be able to be in that relationship. But there is going to be a lot of clearance. I will say that much. There is going to be a lot of clearance, but not to worry. We do go through secondary progressions. You guys can always check out your secondary progressions directions to see where your planets are currently at but the earlier part of your life with Venus in the 12th house is going to be a lot of karmic clearance surrounding friends groups of friends and your lovers as well but overall this placement is going to be very creative very artistic very in tune with the other side like there's these gifts once again these psychic gifts that you guys have carried over in terms of art even you know you guys could be interested in art when you do have this placement so these are a few things that can take place if you have Venus in the 12th house I'm going to wrap up this video here I do hope you guys enjoyed my mini series on Venus through the houses if you did, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.